My voice is hoarse, a little gone, <clears throat> but good day for the Blue Raiders. Man, I wish I could speak up a little bit. Um, I thought our team came out today. It was, it, it was evenly matched. I thought these guys went after each other early in this ball game, and like what we saw was a good blue defense and a good blue offense capitalize on a field position, um, some big third downs. So I thought today uh, I saw the blue team uh, start with great momentum, play well throughout, and and really they 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 enjoyed the. Uh, what the spoils of what consistency brings you. Um, as I look at our white team, I thought I thought the white team was good. Uh, just start slow, and let me tell you something. Uh, as we saw in that ball game, penalties kill drives, and that's one thing I've been telling our guys all week. Uh, if you have a penalty, I know they had a penalty uh, with 12 men on the field, which which brought back a touchdown. Uh, the 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 game is about being being able to play smart, right? We have to be intelligent in our process. But I thought our guys uh, gave great effort. I thought today was fun, um, and I want to thank the fans, truly, uh, you know, for coming out. I want to thank, um, you know, our our football alums, uh, you know, for coming out. And I want to thank the parents for coming out and supporting their kids. Uh, this was a great day for Blue Raider football. We hadn't been on the field for a while, um, especially in a spring game, I think since 2014, 15. So um, today the Blue Raiders got better, and uh, today all Blue Raider a nation one. So with that, I'll open it up for questions. Coach, we talked about this a little bit last week, but obviously spring games, a lot of different ways to, to skin the cats. First, how you split the teams up and, and you went right. with, with really even rosters with the draft, you know, at, at the end of the game, how do you think that worked out as far as developing guys this week as they practice with each other and, and worked in with some new guys, you know, heading into today? I thought it was valuable experience, right? It happens during the season. You know, you get to the season and you're playing guys, somebody goes down and the guy's got to play now. And I thought the idea of only having, you know, three practices uh, to, to, to sort of gel and figure out exactly what they could do. I thought defensively, offensively, I thought our coordinators did a good job of just putting menus together that really fit, you know, for what we needed to get done with the players uh, on, the, on the offensive lines and defensive lines because the game starts up front. So I thought, you know, what we were able to do in this short amount of time, um, you see, you see like Nick Vadiati, you know, go 15 to 16, and that's pretty impressive, right? Um, I, that's, that's hard to do. It's hard to do. Uh, I look on the other side, you know, you see Luther 11 to 16, something like that. Um, I, offensively, I think, I think we're just starting to hit the sweet spot. So today, you know, what I saw offensively, defensively, didn't really test special teams all that much. But what I saw as a team is that um, a lot of information. I think we got a chance to be, you know, extremely competitive. How competitive depends on, uh, you know, what we do in these next 14 days post uh, our spring game. Coach, you were able to bring back a lot of key players from last year's team. How important was that for you to kind of build continuity with those guys and get them to buy into what you want to do here? You know, kudos to to our team, to our current roster and the guys that came in, because um, everybody everybody had the same amount of time. Everybody had the same, you know, uh, um, opportunity to to learn, right? So I told those guys in the beginning, you know, everybody is valued and valuable, right? But um, your playing time is not between me and you; it's between you and you, right? So uh, I think what I've seen from the group in its totality is commitment to just trying to get better. They gave me their best, and that's all I asked for. Uh, I've never asked for these guys to be superhuman. I've just asked for them to be consistent. Show up, work hard, uh, hard hat, lunch pail, coffee mug, and let's get to work. And that's what they've done. So in 15 practices on the grass, this football team is much better uh, than, than I anticipated. I don't know that, how, how that equates to what happens in the fall. I just know I feel good about this football team right now. Was there any point of emphasis going into the spring that you thought these guys should be focusing on, and how did that play out in today's game? Discipline and toughness were the areas of emphasis. Um, uh, it, because we were going to play a different style of ball. Okay, um, the, You know, air raid can be physical, but we wanted to play a different style of ball. And so um, that mentality was going to affect uh, – you know, what we were going to do with our defense. Because, you know, when you talk about having uh, a different type of run game, uh, it, some of our defensive players weren't recruited to that in terms of, you know, how that looks. And I thought they've handled it, you know, well. 
uh, because at times I thought we were a little undersized. But through the recruiting process, I thought we 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 found some guys. We were able to move our roster around. I think guys are like settling into the idea that physicality is going to be part of what we do every day. I think there 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 was maybe um, besides our first couple of practices that were acclimation practices. Every day there was a a, a physical uh, like component in pads to what we did, and I think that. That allowed us to understand that, you know, what we do up front on offense or defense is going to lead this football team to where we want to go because it's a line of scrimmage game. So when those guys get better, our team gets better. I'm not worried about the skill. Skill is skill. But, like, big guys have to play a certain way, okay? And, and that's where we're at right now. We're just grinding into phase three because phase one was winter. Phase two was spring. And, you know, now what we do is get a chance to get ready for summer. And so phase three is going to be really important in terms of how our O-line and D-line like development occurs. Coach, you had some guys who hadn't played much in the past that really stepped up this spring, guys like Raymond Banner. Uh, how was today's game a way to kind of highlight some of those guys and, and show some of the depth you've built? You know, kudos again to these guys. Congratulations to these guys. Um, it's not about how many reps you get. It's about, you know, making sure the reps count. And – it's hard, it's hard for a coach to, to refute what's on tape. You know, you play well, you deserve to play. And I tell them, it's like the Hunger Games. You keep what you kill. You know, you play well, you earn more playing time. You don't, well, then you go to the back of the line. And that's, that's sort of part of that blue-collar mentality. And these guys are showed up every day. So, like, to me, it, that's, that's been part of the learning lesson too, right? Every day is a job interview. So interview to the best of your ability, and after 15 practices, man, let's see what your resume says. So today was a, a great cherry on top for some, a great opportunity for others who may have uh, you know, been hurt in the process and needed to, to, to have their tape show exactly who they are. So I think overall, man, we, we will be able to look at this film with close to 100 plays or 100 snaps and be able to uh, see exactly what guys are and – tell these guys as we get ready for our player uh, coach meetings where they need to go. The team, you seem very disciplined today with very few penalties. How much have you stressed that to the team? You know, I, I was just in the locker room, and that's a great question. I just told our, our football team, penalties kill drives, right? And so we, we, when you look at uh, where we were today, I thought it was good considering uh, we've had refs at practices. I thought at times our referees didn't didn't call the games uh, like the way we needed it called, and and that's part of the learning process, learning how to keep your hands inside, you know, like learning how to play up into the whistle but not beyond the whistle, right? Um, and so today I thought our guys played a clean ball game. Um, there's always things that you need to clean up, 12 men on the field, um, and a couple of substitutions, a little clock management. But those are all the games within the game. Overall, uh, proud of our staff, proud of our guys, because I thought they did a really good job. You know, on a day where eyes were on them and people wanted to see football, you got a chance to see some football, some really good things, some exciting things. So it was good. Thank you. You mentioned that 14-day period coming up. You know, so yeah. when, when the spring portal opens. You know, yep. what, what, is, what do you and your staff have to do in that period to help this team get better for the fall? Yeah. Uh, it's up front. I, I think what we've seen is that we, we have we have quality players uh, at certain positions, but now, man, we, we, we still got to be competitive and we need depth. And if this football team wants to make any noise, it's got to be about depth. It's not about your ones. Everybody's got ones. It's, in, it's about your twos and threes, your goons and goblins. Okay, man, it's about those guys, uh, you know, knowing and understanding their roles. And we want quality depth. The only way that you're going to start on offense – as a skill player or defense as a skill player is that you have to start on at least two special teams. Okay, I've said that since day one. Me and Luke Pascal have been very adamant about that. And so um, as we look at like what we need to do outside of the upfront uh, responsibilities, it's about long physical athletes. And they're, and they're out there in the portal, but they got to fit MTSU. They got to be blue collar. We're not, this, this ain't your payday. If you're looking for that, and I'm just telling you, speaking to the crowd, if this ain't your payday. This is about you coming here, playing really good football, uh, getting resourced like the right way, being developed the right way, and then hopefully if you play good enough football, you'll have an opportunity, man, to win some championships and, and hopefully uh, – 
you know, go chase another dream. But you will get a great education. And I think this thing is wide open because right now we're getting a lot of feedback and information from coaches across the country about, you know, wanting to come to MTSU. So I think our guys have done a good job. Our marketing folks have done a good job. And now what we got to do over the next 14 days is a good job with older players solidifying this roster. You and the, the coordinators were on both teams today. Do you get steak and beanie weenies, or do you get just one of them? I'm all about the steak. I didn't lose. I won. I won. It, 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 and I can tell you, I really won, man, because we had no serious injuries. Right? Um, I, I, you know, hats off the bunch and, and uh, Jamie Blatnick and our condition, uh, strength and conditioning staff because I thought they, they did a great job in the winter trying to get these guys ready. And just so you know this, we didn't miss a day of practice. Every day that we said we were going to practice, we practiced. We hit our mark of three and a half weeks, 15 practices, and we got them all in. And that was rain or shine. Uh, thanks to Chris Massaro, uh, Dr. McPhee, for making some things happen outside of our space. Uh, you know, as we know here at MTSU, uh, you know, the, the cost of progress can be steep sometimes with a lot of construction. So, uh, man, we're just excited and happy about where we are, but and I can't wait to taste that steak. <laughs> what kind of steak is it going to be? You know what, man? It, it's going to be a bone in. Mm. Very tasty. <laughs> you know, um, I do like mine with that little A1. Um, and uh, I, I'll some, some steak butter. Uh, I, I'm excited because right now, here's what I know. I think it's going to be good. And I'm going I'm, I'm, I'm to watch some of those coaches on the losing side. Watch me eat my steak and, <laughs> and be like, you should have won. So it's all good. <laughs> excited. All right, guys. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Chris, nice job on that interception in the second half. You know, Walk me through you know, that trickeration play and, and the reads you made to, to make the play in that moment. Um, I believe we were like our combo coverage or whatever. Um, but then I saw like he had ran out the backfield, but he stayed. So I'm like, all right, let me just drop back, play my coverage, read my keys right. <clears throat> and then, you know, just right place, right time. So our glory to God for that. But you know, I'm just thankful for the opportunities that Coach Stu, Coach Mason, all of them that, like, they've given me. So, appreciative. CJ, talk about having a spring game, bringing it back, and the excitement that was, was around this whole today. Mr. Cecil, I remember uh, you writing articles and stuff about me in high school. So, I appreciate it. I appreciate that. But, uh, yeah, Coach Mason has definitely brought a new feel and new culture to this program. And um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just – taken aback and thankful for everything that he's doing, changing the culture. Not, you know, rearranging what Coach Stock did, but, you know, just bringing some new energy and new juice to it. So this spring game was monumental for all of us, and uh, we're just thankful for that. From a chemistry standpoint, how do you feel? Like, with I know your team is split up, but as far as chemistry, how are you feeling with you guys right now? Uh, you know, new transfers, uh, new people, but, you know, they've meshed pretty well. Um, they come in, treated them as family, treated them as, like, we're brothers since day one. So I think we're pretty good on brotherhood and uh, family-wise. So, uh, you know, we just keep communicating, coming out there every day, ready to work. And, you know, that's what happens when you mesh together, just be a family and a brotherhood. So, yeah. You know, the white team turned it on in the second half, yeah. but, but that first half put y'all a little bit too far behind the eight ball to make the comeback. <laughs> what, what what did you think was maybe the missing piece out there for you guys today? Um, <clears throat> I can't really pinpoint it because we all messed up. Like I messed up on a, a fax call, you know, and you know I had some misfits, so I don't really want to place blame on anything. Uh, I just feel like the offense didn't move the ball real well until the second half, so. Uh, it was just, you know, a lot of mistakes all across the board, but we can't really pinpoint it on one offense, defense, any of that. So, When was the last time you had Beanie Weenies, if you can remember? Beanie Weenies. Um, <laughs> I, I think maybe in like fifth grade, I think, um, you know, there was a time coming up where we didn't, you know, have enough money. So Beanies and Weenies, that was a, always our go-to spam, stuff like that. So, yeah. So if, Please. At least put some lemon paper flavoring on it or something like that. I always eat stuff with hot sauce, too. So if they got hot sauce, I'm straight. I'm good. I'm good. Um, yeah. Thanks, Chris. Uh, thank you. Nick, first true spring game since you've been here coming off the field, you know, victorious. You know, how are you feeling? And, and how do you think, you know, the team overall is going to grow from this? Yeah, I uh, feel great. It was a lot of fun to be out there. thought we had a great turnout. So thank you to family. Thank you to friends. Thank you to fans who came out, supported, students. Um, Athletes on other teams, you know, it was really special to see 
um, a lot of support there. It makes it, you know, you love playing football, but when you see all those people there to support, even for just a spring game, you know, it, it, it means a lot to us, so we don't take it for granted. And then, um, yeah, like you said, we were able to come out victorious, and, uh, you know, I thought we were able to practice with our respective teams this week. I thought everyone did a really good job in practice. We, we started building a great bond with each other. thought offense played hard, defense played hard. O-line played tremendous defense, I think. They let up one good drive, and then the white team converted on a touchdown. But other than that, they held their own, did a great job. And, you know, I was just really proud of how everyone came out and attacked the day, and it was really good. Yeah, I think you first half you were 11 for 12 at, at halftime, clearly grown comfortable with Bodie Reader's offense. You know, what, what excites you about where the offense is going and how much y'all have grown as a unit sort of the spring? Yeah, I think since day one to the end of the spring game now is that we've seen so much growth and so much progress. Um, both in the run game, the pass game, the play action game, and we've kind of we've started seeing players grow into their own in this offense. And like you use the word, become more comfortable, like myself, but also like let these receivers become more comfortable running routes and you know building chemistry with guys like Amari and Holden. And then you saw like Cam Lacey make a lot of good plays today for our team, and that was really good to see. And then the backs have been doing a heck of a job in the O line. The run game has been clicking since day one, and I think we've carried that. And the pass game has kind of come along with it. So I've been really proud of how these guys. Just, just went out there and played hard today, and we did our job. And Nick, talk about the rapport you're, you're, you've built with Omari, you know, throughout the entire spring and particularly today. Yeah, that kid is, you know, he he's a hard worker. He has all the talent in the world. I think the way he runs routes, his body control, he's very easy to throw to, and that was noticeable from day one. Um, and from that first practice on, we started to build that chemistry. And you know, there's still a lot of work to be done between me and Omari, and me and all, any of the other receivers, tight ends, running backs, whatever it is, but. Um, since the day he got there, he started. He, he made plays, and uh, I mean, you saw today. I, he easily had over 100 yards, uh, maybe over 120. But he's a baller, and uh, you know, I think our offense is very multiple, which you, you were able to see today. And a lot of guys touched the ball, and it's going to help us. It's going to help us a lot. Nick, what's something you've taken from spring practices and really applied it to your game? Uh, I think that you know, when you come into a new offense, like obviously, there's learning curves to everything. Um, I think that as an offense, though, we've attacked it really well, whether it was on the field during practice or in meetings or in walkthroughs. Um, everyone's just kind of try to ingest as much information as possible. And I think a big thing that this offense is, is based upon it, outside of the run game is being able to throw on time. So you need to have a lot of chemistry with those receivers, like I was saying, is because if you can throw on time, you can have the best coverage in the world. But if, if he's hitting his depth on his route and I'm throwing off the drop I'm supposed to be throwing, it's very hard to cover. And so I think you know we continue to work on that throughout the summer which is our next step, and we'll continue to get better at it. Raymond Banner and, and Jace Gardner really got to ice the game for the mm -hmm. blue team in the second half. Two running backs we haven't really seen a whole lot before. What can you say about their growth you know, this spring and then the opportunity that they succeeded in today? Yeah, uh, phenomenal, phenomenal. I think you, know, I, you saw it starting with last week when we did our scrimmage on Saturday. Uh, Jace had a heck of a scrimmage, you know, just running, making moves, making guys miss, running through the hole, hitting it hard. And then you saw with Ray today, I mean, he, he wastes no time hitting that hole. And he sees it and he goes and, you know, as a running back, and I'm sure O-linemen, you can appreciate that. Like I said, those O-linemen worked their tail off today, creating holes, and Ray and Jace both did a heck of a job. And I think credit to, like, the older guys, too, like Frank and Middlebrook and Flip and Terry, like, um, and Jamon as well, like, kind of showing them how it's to be done. And then they take that information and, you know, show it. You know, it shows you have good leadership in that room and I think across the team in general. Who are you most looking forward to getting a steak from, you know, when you all have the steak dinner? Um... I'm just I'm just excited with the blue team gets to enjoy our steak and uh, that was the goal you know we come out here victorious we win we get our steak and you know I'm just excited that the white team gets beanie weenies but that's on them. Thank you guys. Yes, sir. James, big time interception to, to ice the game. You know, walk us through your read and how you're able to jump the route there. Um, pretty much, I was a seam player, and uh, Coach Mason and Coach B. Lou have been on me just about getting underneath the seam, and I just seen it. I mean, earlier I missed the play, and I was bound down. Coach Lou said, man, just get your eyes in the right place, and I was able to capitalize on the opportunity. You know, working in at nickel with, with the new system where guys are sort of learning their <coughs> spots, you know, what's that been like for you, you know, this spring and the defense as a whole? Um, it's been really big. I mean, we, we preach PTI, physical tough intelligence, so I'm just trying to follow that mold that Coach Mason and Coach Lou have set for the room and, and the standard in general. So I've really just been trying to go over the plays and just get comfortable with Coach Stu's defense. With a lot of new phases, new schemes you know, on the defensive side, what's impressed you the most this spring about the guys that have stepped up and filled holes in this defense? 
Um, what has impressed me the most is how smart everyone is and how everyone's able to understand the defense. We all meet all together as a defense, as a defensive unit, and just pretty much go through different checks. Safeties meet with nickels, nickels meet with corners, so everyone's on the same page, so it all comes full circle. Thank you. Thank you. All right, James, thank you. All right. TK, you got open for the touchdown off that play action look. Wide open. Looked like there was nobody within 10 yards. You know, you know, what were you reading on that play, able to get in that spot? Really, I noticed that the safety came down, so I recognized it was man. Um, he kind of got a chip off me off the ball. But once I beat him over top, I knew the ball was coming to me. Just got to go make a play. Coach Reader's offense uses a lot more tight ends than the middle's used in recent years. You know, what's it been like for you, someone that, that's been in that tight end position for so long, getting a, a chance to show a more versatile part of your skill set? Man, I've loved it. Um, you know, the past years have been a couple, kind of like an air raid. Um, I feel like this offense utilizes their tight end the most. Like, we're everywhere. We do a lot of things. Uh, as you see today, Slade, he came in and had a touchdown. Like, tight end's a big part of this program. So, I felt you just seeing the beginning. Yeah, going back to Slade, you know, obviously a linebacker last year having to, to convert to y'all. You know, what's that been like for him and, and what, you watching him grow in that position? I mean, honestly, I love it. Um, he comes in every day. He doesn't complain about nothing. Sometimes he doesn't get the most reps. He doesn't get the most production. But every day he's trying to learn. And I feel like today, just put the cherry on top. He deserves that touchdown. As you build a rapport with quarterbacks, I mean, today you're on the white team, so you're having a lot more reps with Richardson and with uh, Gagliano. I mean, as you're trying to build that rapport with those guys, what are, what are kind of some important takeaways from the spring as you move on in the fall? Um, the biggest thing is, I just think, we just got to get offensive and rhythm because, you know, Nick's driving down the field, but it's, it's, a, it's a football. Anything can happen. If Nick goes down, I feel like we all got to have that same connection, whether it's Nick, Roman, Luther, whoever it is. As long as we got that good connection, I feel like we're going to be unstoppable this year as an offense. Do you like Beanie Weenies? <sighs> I'm going to have to, huh? <laughs> I'm going to have to. But, um, no, nah, credit to the blue team. They, uh, they were the better team today. Thank you. Well, James, spring game, you don't really get true sacks, but you were credited with three sacks today in a pass rush. What was working well for you on that edge, you know, being able to get to the quarterback a few times? Man, really, I was just uh, thinking, get off the ball, and whatever the offensive lineman gives me, take it. So that's what I've been, uh, that's what I've been focusing on this whole spring. You know, multiple front defense for you guys. You know, positions a little bit different than what y'all were doing last year. How's that adjustment been for you guys up front on the defensive uh, line? Well, I feel like we 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 worked hard. We worked real hard to uh, learn the defenses, and I feel like that it, it hasn't been hard to adjust to the new like the four hour five technique. I feel like that's that comes natural. The more and more we work, the more and more we practice. And then you know, blue teams able to pull out the win today. Defense in the first half was a big part of that. What was clicking for y'all, sort of as a unit in that first half in particular? Well, on the sideline, man, we was telling, we were saying three and out, three and out, three and out every play. So. We, our mentality was just go get them. Can't can't have them have any any free plays, any offside penalties, nothing like that. So we were just in attack mode. How valuable is it to be able to go against an offensive line that's so big? I know that they were able to spread them out uh, with the spring game, but in spring practice and again going into fall practice, how valuable is that to be able to go up against such a large offensive line for a G5? Uh, our, our line, they, they've been getting better and better throughout spring, and I've been challenging those guys. I've told them. Go have one on one conversation with him, like, hey man, like work me today, like go hard today. So it's really been it's really been good, man. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the bond that I have with the O line outside of the field. But on the field we, we always work and we always go hard. How do you like your steak cooked? <laughs> I like mine medium well. Uh no A1 sauce. I like a little extra salt, pepper, you know, a little uh little seasoning on there. <laughs> Uh, to secure the win, uh, man, we just was trying to keep uh, keep the same thing as the first quarter, first second, first second half. Just keep attacking them, keep getting off the ball, keep getting three and outs, turnovers, all of that. The DBs made a lot of different calls and adjustments to what they were running, and they they bought out. Omar, we, we saw that chemistry with, with Nick, really, I think almost from the first snap today. But that, that sort of over-the-shoulder catch you made along the sideline mm -hmm. was probably the highlight of the game. Walk us through that play. What, what were you reading on that? And how were you able to make the catch, you know, that far down the sideline? Uh, that was that was actually a, a, like a 
free play because the uh, the defense jumped off sides and we got a free ball because the penalty was going to be there anyway. So I was running and I was really trying to read what the DB was doing and I just went the opposite way where he was looking and Nick put it back shoulder somewhere I can get it. Yeah, you mentioned you know building chemistry off the field mm -hmm. leads to chemistry on the field. Do you think that's the reason why you know, you, and, you and Nick have clicked you know so quickly so early in y'all's tenure together? Uh, I I think that is a factor, but I feel like with all the quarterbacks, I feel like we all have good chemistry even without being able to hang out off the field as much as me and Nick have. Nick mentioned the timing being a big part in the mm -hmm. offense. You know, from from wide receiver perspective, how, how does that help you get in rhythm? You know, sort of on the field with what you are doing. Mm -hmm. It's actually a, a very big factor. Um, cause if you don't have the timing right, then you're going to have to like alter your routes and you're not going to be able to run your routes uh, is how you want to. So being able to have the same timing as the quarterback is a blessing really. What kind of competitive atmosphere do you guys experience throughout the spring and then kind of comes to culmination in a spring game like this with you ver wide receivers versus your DBs? It's really like, it's like the, the Amazon out there, like everybody going against everybody at everybody next. So I feel like it's a very good competition atmosphere and I feel like if we keep that up we'll be in a very good place you, you come here with a chip on your shoulder you go from a big school down to a smaller school and, and you try to make yourself a name for yourself here well, you mm -hmm. know what's kind of been your experience and I know it's still the spring but what, what has that experience been like for you coming into TSU uh, it's been fun it's just the, my only thing is just been getting adjusted you know coming from Auburn to MTSU you know some like we don't have a lot of the same resources but I feel like the coaching staff and everybody on the team has helped me Acclimate very well. Anything else for Omar? Oh, Omar. What have you seen from the offense translate over from spring practices now into the spring game? Uh, we're able to play a lot faster and a lot more disciplined. Um, I feel like at first everybody was just kind of frantic trying to learn the offense and stuff like that. So I feel like now that everybody can, everybody knows the offense better and can operate in it better. And I think we we're doing we're looking good. Anything else, Captain? Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you all. Thank you.